Hi guys, um, I have already done an intro to this, um, I've already filmed this video but I'm not sure how good the intro is so I just thought I would start again um, and I've always made myself a cup of tea because I'm freezing. We've just been out to feed Partridge, uh, it's a weekend, it is a Saturday and that means that I'm not working so not this Saturday anyway. I mean, most Saturdays during the season, I'm actually out on shoot. So, but I'm not this weekend. I've got Saturday and Sunday off. No clients today, no clients tomorrow. Um, just got back to work this week. So I will be quite busy coming up and was busy this week, but not busy this weekend. So what we did, Chris obviously had birds to feed. So he went to do the partridge and I love to go with him to feed the partridge. I love to go with him as much as I can. Obviously, his job is not just a nine to five Monday to Friday, neither is mine. So anytime that I can go with him, even just to be with him, I do. As long as I'm not inconveniencing him or I'm in the way. Basically, I sometimes go with him to feed the partridge. That's one of the jobs that I enjoy going alongside. Ow. I don't really do much, as you'll see in the videos that I'm away to show you. I don't really do much. I basically try sometimes, most of the time I'll take a dog. Um, I do believe it's good for them to get used to the Polaris and just used to anything. It's an opportunity for me to desensitize my dogs to something. It's noisy, it obviously, we're sort of off-roading in it, so it's good for them to get used to the movement. It's good for them to get used to what Chris is doing. It's just an opportunity to train really without actually training to do much. I believe a hen harrier has just taken off from in front of our window, but I don't think I'll be able to video it. I will try. Oh. I don't think. Oh, where did it go? Oh, there. Is it in the video? There. Okay, it's landed. This is my kitchen view, guys. Cannot complain, it's landed. Okay, so I caught the end of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't complain about my kitchen view, can I? Anyway, so I went out to feed Partridge. I took Norse the first time round, and most of these dogs get used to it as puppies. He has been in the Polaris before. He's pretty good. Well, they're all really good, to be fair. They, they really enjoy it. Any opportunity we can, we take the dogs. Obviously we've got to be clever about where we take the dogs because we don't really want to disturb any game. So we've got to be aware of where we are, what's in that area and also what time of year it is. Because for example, in springtime, I will not be training on the fell. I will not be taking the dogs on the fell. The birds are nesting and obviously I don't want to disturb them. But at the moment, I'm pretty okay to go about the fell. So what we did, obviously Chris is, where, where Chris was feeding the partridge, M my dogs are pretty good. I wouldn't have a dog there that I thought was gonna be feral or run around or chase or disturb any of the birds. Sometimes I'll get out and about, move some bags for Chris, give him a hand with stuff, take some lids off hoppers or whatever. But um, then the dogs have to stay in the flowers. Most you can expose a dog to and just get them like, whatever comfortable happy then the best all-rounded dog you're gonna have what a way to have my cup of tea because i'm freezing warm up and then i'm gonna make a stew i think a stew and dumplings because it's quite a cold day today see um just having some cozy food tonight i'll insert some clips now of us going out doing a bit of partridge feeding mainly it's just me cuddling dogs and a little bit of training but hopefully you enjoy something a bit different, um, enjoy the beautiful scenery, and yeah. It's red leg partridge that we are feeding in these videos. They're from France, and they are reared and they are bought in. They're not a wild bird here. You see the grouse are, for those that don't know or haven't seen any of my videos previously. Um, so yeah, the red leg partridge and the pheasant are reared and bought in here and then the grouse are obviously wild but as you can see by all of my video footage they have a beautiful beautiful place to live as do we and 
if I was a partridge, I'd be very happy to live there. <laughs> One of the things when I was first introduced to shooting that I picked up on and that my old boss sort of explained to me that I remember driving up, um, this was in Scotland, in the Glens, and it was a stunning, stunning place. I remember my first time driving up there and thinking this is absolutely incredible. I've never been up to this area and it was amazing. And I remember my boss basically being like, well, I wouldn't complain about living up here. And there was just pheasants obviously about, and they do, they have a, a lovely area to live in. And most of the time when they're not being driven towards guns, they are just living the best life. And I know that sounds maybe to some people a bit silly, but I genuinely believe that so <laughs> there you have it anyway i'm gonna pop pop in some clips now <laughs> Don't do that. Not up here. Sit. I think I've got to start again. Sit. What? Oh, you're making me feel awkward. Stop it. I'm ignoring you. Stop. It's not funny. Okay, I'm it's not fair. I'm going to do this to you when you're talking to guns. I'm going to just. at you. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome back. Now we're back on the fell on our way back to get some more feed so i'm going to do a bit of training now is a good time to kind of get him used to a bit of game scent he's really focused on his dummies so he might get a bit distracted by a bit of scent probably more likely to be sheep poo than anything else or rabbit poo more than anything else all right like what he's doing now stop it these youngsters used to having to stay focused on what i'm putting them on to back now and grab Ragnar while Chris stocks back up on feed. Ragnar up!
say I get to spend time with my husband, but also I just get to spend one-to-one, -one, no pressure time with my dogs. We didn't really come away from where we were feeding partridge to train Ragnar, so I just hopped out on the way back um, in the field behind the house and then realised that I left the dummies in the Polaris, so I'm walking back to get them and then I'm just going to do a little bit with Ragnar just around the house. Your silhouette in the moonlight shine Will my love you won't ever be 